Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have a super exciting video for you guys. And today I'm gonna to be doing a TJ Maxx haul. Basically, I'm just gonna be talking about a bunch of makeup that I got at TJ Maxx. I'm also going to possibly include a few other things that are new on this video that I did not get at TJ Maxx, but I'll hold those to the end. And uh, guess what? Most of these are eyeshadow palettes. What else would you expect from this channel? So hello, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Amy, this is Dolly Mama Beauty. On this channel, I talk a lot about eyeshadow palettes among other things, but that's my favorite topic of conversation here on this channel, so I just like to talk about that a lot. So that's what most of my videos are focused around. So thanks so much for tuning in today, and I hope you'll like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Okay, so let's get into it. I am super excited. Now the majority of these palettes are from BH Cosmetics. Now before I also get started in this I want to shout out another channel like uh, I'm pretty sure that you are, are all familiar with Leah Janae here on YouTube Leah does a lot of Marshalls and TJ Maxx hauls on her channel and that's not necessarily where I got this idea I just know that she does them as well so if you want to see other content related to TJ Maxx and Marshall's uh, makeup section then I highly suggest that you check her out her name is Leah Janae and I'm gonna link her channel down here in the description box so you guys can check out her channel if you want to find out what else is on sale at TJ Maxx and Target now TJ not Target TJ Maxx and Marshall's so this is all TJ Maxx now all TJ Maxx's are not created equal now you guys probably know this from your own TJ Maxx some have a lot of things and some have none and I went to probably five separate TJ Maxx stores and only found seven items but that's pretty good considering what I found you guys are gonna be thrilled okay so let's start with a good one um, for these palettes I used a shade for, our, for my eyes so one of the palettes I used on my eyes today and I'm super excited I found this in the TJ Maxx close to my parents house it's the emerald palette for May by BH Cosmetics oh my god you guys this was one of the ones that I wanted and I was so thrilled when I came across it this one is great I used this in my outer corner today but I love the combination of maroons and kind of smoky like um, brown tones um, ver you know against all the greens I think that that's a really really pretty combination now these have pressed glitters in them not super thrilled about that but I think you know the thing with pressed glitters is is you have to try them and see if you like them before you make up your mind but I you know I always hear about eye safety and so I I tend to stay away from them just for that reason but this is a really pretty one it's kind of an orangey rusty glitter but I, I you know I, I would stick pretty much to the other shades in the palette it's a stunning palette I'm super excited I found this I was shocked I was shocked when I found this now you know BH Cosmetics who knows what's going to happen with BH Cosmetics at this point but let's hope that they don't uh, do, do, do a swirly dwirly down the toilet bowl uh, into oblivion and into makeup revolution quality makeup we gotta pray guys seriously because that would be a very very tragic end to the brand but anyway this is a beautiful palette I'm super excited I got it so this was one of the ones that I wanted and I wanted probably about five of them and I got the only one I had prior to that was the Peridot for August love that palette too so I can't wait to use that one in the Peridot together okay the other one now I was really stoked to see this one too and this one wasn't as popular because it's very neutral but uh, I got the diamond for April this one is pretty I used this on the inner inner portion of my lid it's kind of an icy blue white it's a bluish white I wouldn't call it a duochrome I just call it a white with a blue tint to it so it's a very icy blue um, so it's bluey white um, and it's not necessarily a duochrome it's it's just that icy icy light 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 blue or just you know those blues that are so white they those I those whites that are so white that they have a blue twin twinge to them that's what this is okay so it's also got another press glitter these all have press glitters in them this black is a sparkly black which I really wish it was matte but that's okay but I love silver so you got a silver here you got this matte shade right here but I would pretty much stick to these shades right here I wanted it I don't know why I wanted this one so bad but when I saw that it was in sale at TJ Maxx, uh, TJ Maxx and these were probably like five bucks at TJ Maxx so like the they were $4.99 which is basically what the pearl for June is being sold for on BH's site right now and it's the only one that you can get on BH's site is the pearl for June the rest of them aren't on there but I was excited to pick this one up so that's the diamond 
for April. Now I'm gonna talk about a palette that wasn't from BH, and I was really excited about this palette until I opened it up, um, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Um, this is the Moonlight Crystal palette from Aether Beauty. I really was like, oh, this is gonna be awesome, Aether Beauty. It was in its box, and this is what the color story looked like on the box. Hopefully you guys can see that. Lots of pretty, it looks like pinky purple, purples and greens. Okay, pinky, I saw a lot of pinky tones in this. I even saw what looked to be more neutral tones in this. And I got it home and I was really excited about it. Uh, I didn't take it out of the box when I first looked at it. The colors inside do not at all represent what's on that box. I was very, very upset about that. Super upset about this. This is a very cool tone, blue, green, purple um, scheme. There is nothing neutral about it, nothing pink about it. So the colors on the back of the box were not indicative of the actual colors in the palette. So I spent I spent 12 bucks on this palette, 12 or $13 on this palette. I hope that quality is good because really truthfully, I would not have bought this if I, if the, if I didn't, if the color story represented what was on the back of that box, I would have been really excited about it. But because it didn't, I thought about taking it back, but I'm just like, nah, that's okay. Let me just try this out. Let me try the brand. And if I don't like it, I can declutter it. But this is the Moonlight Crystal Palette from Aether Beauty. So not super thrilled. It comes with a little plastic sheet that has the names of the shadows on them. Um, Nice deep tones in there, I will give it that. I will give it the fact that it has deep tones in there and it has a good combination of mattes and shimmers, but they, it, it just did not represent the colors on the box. So that's a no bueno and no go for me, so I was not happy about that. But alas, it is what it is. Moving on. Okay, let's talk about another BH palette because I have three more palettes and then I have another bonus item that's not an eyeshadow palette that I'm like so thrilled about. Okay, the next one, and I was super thrilled to find this super thrilled to find this and this is the smitten and switzerland palette from bh cosmetics another travel theme palette i think this is the third travel theme palette that i know fourth because i got one from my friend evelyn she sent me love in london this is my fourth and this one is stunning this is the smitten in switzerland um let me show you this is so pretty i used this shade on the middle of my lid it's like a mossy green this gives me kind of subculture vibes, kind of a grungy subculture vibes kind of a palette. I don't know if you guys see what I'm talking about here. I love this. You've got a matte black in there, perfect. You got a deep, you know, got some deeper shimmers. It, I love the gradients in these um, travel palettes. I feel, find that they have a good gradient in terms of light, medium to deep shades. And I always can appreciate when they cut through a couple of deep shades in there, whether it be a brown, a black, a blue, a maroon or something just to deepen up my my looks because that's the kind of eyeshadow that I want to wear is a deeper outer corner. Um, you've got some really cool fun pops in here. You got this kind of mac and cheese orange. That's really the only pop you have. That's a poppiest shade in here. You've got some nice mauvey shades in here. Some good neutrals up here for blending. Nice um, nice taupey tone that can go really well with this brown or this black to really give you some like super dramatic looks. Super love this, I think it's great. I'm so glad I picked it up and I think I got this for $7.99. No joke, and I was really excited to find it. Now, as far as the travel palettes go, so far that one to me represents the, the actual place the most. I've been to all of the places that I have the travel palettes from. I've been to Los Angeles, I'm from California. If you haven't been to Los Angeles and you live in California, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. But anyway, Los Angeles does not, the pastels do not represent Los Angeles. Maybe the beach, you know, maybe. Beachy tones um, doesn't represent Los Angeles. The, the, the passion in Paris is pretty, but I wouldn't necessarily say that, you know, it, it represents Paris at night. Um, the Love in London is pretty. Um, it's very neutral, but this one, Switzerland, I've been to London, Paris, and I have been to Switzerland, and this one is very, very pretty, and it does represent a lot of color in Switzerland, and in my personal opinion, from what I remember, I was in Switzerland, I went to Switzerland in um, the winter, and it was much more um, dreary, but beautiful, and going to Switzerland and spending Christmas in Switzerland was an absolute dream, so spent in Switzerland, love it, glad I got it. Okay. Guys, I came across another Sweet Shop palette. I was super thrilled when I saw this, and I picked it up immediately, and I said, yes, 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 yes. Okay, 
I have three now. This is my third one. This is the Orange Shore Bay palette. I've worn this on my eyes and I'm loving it. The only problem with it is, is it doesn't have a real deep tone in it. If it had a really deep tone in it, this is as deep as it goes, this one down here. That's, it's four mattes on the bottom, four shimmers on the top. This is as deep as it gets in this palette. So I would have preferred maybe two more shades in here, one with a really deep shimmer and a really dark, like red, like a really dark orangey deep brown. And then I would have been like, yes, 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 all the way. Perfect, I love this palette for so many reasons. I wear this as a face highlighter, wear this as a blush. This is very, very pigmented, oh my gosh. I um, I have really had to blend and blend and blend and I had to add some, some, some uh, I had to add, you know, like a foundation powder over this to just kind of like tame it, but oh my God, it's stunning, you guys. This is a stunning palette. I'm so glad that I have now have three Sweet Shop palettes. If I could just find the Cherry on Top palette and maybe the Sugar Comb palette, I'd be in like an absolute heaven. Uh, I'm not so much interested in the bubblegum. I don't really need a blue palette, but Orange Sorbet, super, super thrilled to um, have that one. Okay, so let's talk about the last palette that I got. This one excited me too. Now I saw the other two palettes in this series and I decided not to get them. But this is the 1000s Remix palette um, and this is the Remix Dance palette. Oh my God. This was the one that I wanted out of all of them. The other ones were very bright. One of them was more of a pastel brights and the other one was like a bright brights. The 80s was a really bright one and the, the 90s was more of a pastel brights. This one is more neutral neutral with a uh, with pop of purple um, and some cool tones and some warm tones so you got you know this kind of cool brown up here um, and that's a really the only only cool matte you have and then you have this blue um, and the rest of the mattes are warmer the, the I've used like seven shades in this palette but I only use this shade today I've used this one a few times I use this one on, the, on my friend on my best friend over the weekend when we went to a, uh, a BTS event and she absolutely loved it. And I'm like, this is beautiful. I love the shimmers in this palette. I love the mattes in this palette. I'm so glad I got this. Um, and so, yeah, it, I got this, I think, for uh, $9.99 or something like that, guys. I'm stoked. I'm stoked that I got that palette. So stoked that I got that palette, the Thousands Remix. And I love the names of the shadows. Um, my favorite, uh, the favorite name, of course, um, or the favorite shadow so far is this one over here called Twerk. <laughs> I can't twerk to save my life, but you've got Glam, Poker Face, Teen Dream, um, Sexy Back, Milkshake. you got all of those, like, not, um, early millennium songs, like, you know, Sexy Back um, from Justin Timberlake, Poker Face by Lady Gaga, um, Gold Digger by Kanye, you know, Kanye. you got all of these really, really, Hey Ya, which is a mat, but that's one of my favorite songs of all time from Outkast. So I'll find a use for that, even though I hate shades like that, but God, you guys. Um, it's it's uh, a really, you know, umbrella is a deep gray. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, colors and names. I love this palette. I, I think it's so much fun. And uh, yeah, so, so glad I have it. So glad I have it. It's awesome. And so there's that. Now those are the six palettes that I got. Now this last item that I got at TJ Maxx, when I saw this, I thought I was imagining things. When I saw this, I didn't believe it at first. I thought, that's not real. That can't be right. This is something that I desperately dreamed of having. And when I saw it, I literally wanted to pass out. Guys, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I'm wearing this on my face. This is the unicorn of Becca highlighters for me. Becca went out of business. This was the only shade I didn't have that I wanted. I have seven Becca highlighters now. I have Champagne Pop. I have Prosecco Pop. I have Opal, Rose Quartz, Vanilla Quartz, Prismatic Amethyst, and now Moonstone. And this one is the best. I can't even tell you. It's like you know what, I'm being dramatic, but it's like God said, here is a gift just for you. And it just and it just appeared out of nowhere right in front of my face. And I just I looked down and I said, Oh, it's 
shimmering skin protector and I saw the and I was able to read the writing with my bad eyes and it said moon sun. it's like the, the lettering was real clear and I was like yes and I grabbed it immediately and I I there was no looking back I you know what I don't even know how much I paid for this but I would have paid the original retail value for this because I wanted this shade so bad moonstone it's stunning it's absolutely stunning it's a you know it's a beautiful champagne shade but this is more this is less peachy champagne pop is really champagne this is like a golden champagne like a beigey champagne I mean come on like really I, I just you know what I was I was stoked I was just stoked beyond words to actually have that and you know appear in front of my eyes and just you know come and shout to me buy me I was so excited so I'm gonna get three more palettes out these are not from TJ Maxx or Marshalls these are palettes that I've gotten recently that I don't know you guys know that I have so I want to go ahead and grab those real quick and I will be right back just give me a second all right okay I'm back so I have three newer palettes to my collection which I probably haven't featured too much sorry about that I had to adjust which I probably haven't featured really too much on my channel, but you may or may not know that I got them. So I'm just gonna mention them really quickly. Okay, of course. Now, listen, if, if I didn't get this palette, I don't even know what, you guys, now come on, stop it. I got the Hella palette with Odin's Eye and Angelica. I knew I wanted this palette purely for the fact that it was Angie alone. But I'm not disappointed in the color story at all. It is very yellow green leaning, which is not not my favorite, but I'm telling you, look at that. Guys, it's so pretty. I have really created some fun looks with this. I was going to do a three looks, one palette with this, but I am not good at tutorials. You guys know that about me. If you didn't, I am not a good tutorial based channel. So many, 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 many YouTubers that I watch here, a lot of great creators have created three looks, one palette with this video, with this palette, I mean. If you guys want me to link them, I will link some of them down there. I, I really will because this palette is great. A lot of these, some of these shades look similar, but they really do work differently on the eyes. Um, I love this. I think it's so pretty. I'm so glad that I got it. And that the quality is just as good as um, Giant Wolves, which is my, my favorite uh, Odin's Eye palette and probably my favorite palette of all time. The artwork itself is it's insane. The 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 um, sleeve is you know got some gray with you know because she Hella is the goddess of death. And don't think Marvel goddess of death. Watch Angie's video where she explains the Hella palette and it'll it'll uh, give you a better perspective on that versus the Kate Blanchett version from Marvel movies. But anyway, and then you open it, open it up and it's it's like more colorful version. But you can see she's half a uh, skeleton and then half um, you know. Uh, Live, uh, half alive and half dead, basically. So I think that um, there's an element of you're caught between two worlds kind of a scenario. Um, but uh, I love it. This is absolutely stunning. I'm so glad that I picked this up and uh, I, there was no way I wasn't going to get it. Okay, another palette that I do not know if you guys know that I got. I got the uh, Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes palette. I waited for this to come back in stock. And I was like, okay, I'm waiting for this to come back in stock. And as soon as it comes back in stock, I'm getting it. This is everything. This is everything. I don't even know what to say. When I got this and I used it for the first, I've used it about three or four times. When I got this, I, I, I literally gasped. I knew I was going to love it because I'd seen so many videos with it, but it is just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And the formula is better in this one than it is in the flare and the oceanic palette, which I have. This one's much easier to use than the other ones. I can still use those other ones. I, I don't really feel like they're that, you know, that difficult for me. You just have to really do specific kinds of techniques to really make those palettes work don't necessarily with this one this one is you know this one blends much easier this formula blends much easier than that formula and it's totally okay and i'm down with it but this is probably one of my favorite palettes in my collection so far it's probably one of the front runners for the palettes of the year um it came out i think late last year which is okay but honestly I got it this year and I love it. Okay, the last palette that I want to talk about is another palette that I got recently. 
um, when Menagerie did a restock, and it is the Indigo Ink palette. I don't know if I said whether or not I got this. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. I love it. Oops. Touched the red shadow, but that's okay. Don't even know why. This one is the most, probably the most interesting and unique color scheme that I have in my collection because you've got some some bright red, a, a red, a kind of a coral, orange, you know, lime shades, some blue shades, um, this dirty green, green gold shade. Lots of interesting shades, lots of interesting combinations that you can do. It's much more versatile than you think. This kind of reminds me, not, it doesn't remind me in color story, but it reminds me of the um, Shroud Cosmetics Divinity Palette with a very interesting color story, but that you could, that is much more versatile than you think. That's what this is. Um, formula is great in these. I love Menagerie, so I had to get that one, and those are the palettes. So, I hope you guys find some of these palettes, these for the first ones that I mentioned at TJ Maxx. Look around, you know, you gotta really like, it's like finding a treasure. You know, sometimes you really gotta dig, and you gotta find one that hasn't been swatched, and what I liked about um, some of these BH palettes at um, TJ Maxx was they had a plastic film. They had a plastic film over the actual um, palette so you couldn't swatch it, but you had to like cut it off when you got it. But I was so thankful for that because it was just, it was, it, it was untouched. But I hope you guys like this video. I have so many new palettes. <laughs> so many new palettes. Um, yeah, so many new palettes in my collection. And so. I'm going to have to really do an updated collection video soon because um, once I get through my Would I Buy It Again series and once I get through uh, that, then I'm probably going to do a declutter and then I'll do collection videos. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That would really help my channel and it helps me to know whether or not you like my videos, what you want to see from me in the future, and it just helps my analytics a little bit and helps people see my video which I really need for people to do because, hey, I'm out here, I wanna grow. You know, this is a hobby for me, but I love doing YouTube and I love to share my love of makeup with you. So share this channel as well. Let other people know that I'm out here flapping just in the breeze, talking about makeup palettes, eyeshadow palettes, because you know what, hey, we all need more eyeshadow palette videos. You can never have enough of those. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, and I'll catch you in my next one. Finger hearts for you, because I love you guys. And I will say ta-ta for now, and bye!